Hello and welcome everyone. I am Hosanna David. Welcome. I want to share with us a word of advice. The Bible says in Philippians 4 verse 4, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. When you look at uh, the average Christian or the world we live in today, the average person living in this world has a lot of worries about what they don't have and funny enough, some worry about what they have because they feel it is not good enough or it's not the exact one, uh, the exact quality that they supposed to have and they worry about what they have. So one, when someone who doesn't have is worrying, the one that has is also worrying about what they have. So instead of deriving pleasure, joy and satisfaction from the usage of what they have, they derive and uh, uh, sorrow from what they have. The Bible says that the blessings of the Lord make it rich. He adds no sorrow to it. He doesn't add sorrow to what he has given to us. So we're supposed to derive joy from what we have. Uh, if you read Matthew chapter 6 from verse 25 to 34, which is the last verse of that chapter, Jesus Christ warns us about worries, about what we don't have. As expensive as important life is, Jesus Christ said we shouldn't be worried about our life, that we should only be worried about the kingdom and his righteousness and every other thing shall be added to us. We should be hard working, but when we have what we have, why are we enduring what we have instead of enjoying what we have. For instance, some persons, uh, when they had no car, they said, God, if you can just give me a car, if you can just give me, no matter how cheap, no matter, provided they can just serve the purpose of transporting me and my family to from one place to the other, I will be happy. Now they have a car and they are not happy because they feel the car is not good enough. They feel that uh, it's not actually the modern uh, brand or the modern uh, one that they are having and they are not happy about it. Some, when they were not married, they'll say, God, if you can just give me a wife, just give me a wife, give me a husband. When you give me, I'll be satisfied, I'll be happy, I'll save you. Now the Lord has given you a wife, he has given you a husband, are you happy about it? Uh, you see a lot of men telling their wives, oh, you're not beautiful enough. When they see, they, they prefer complimenting other people's wives and uh, other ladies who are single than appreciating what God has given to them. So instead of them to derive joy from what they have, they are actually sad about what they have. So what is this life about? What is this life about? A lady when you were not married, you were worried. I want to have a husband of my own. Now you have a husband. All you focus on is the weakness, the other side of the man. You don't focus on, on the good side of the man. You are not happy about the gift that the Lord has given to you. What you're concerned about is, oh, I, I thought he would be richer than, now, than this by now. Oh, I, he's not handsome enough. Uh, I, I don't like his nose in the night. These are... Uh, things that can be worked on when you receive anything from the Lord please be happy about it we, you are not going to come back to this world I am not going to come back we are just passing through once and once we pass through we are not going to return back to this world this world is going to be destroyed with fire and everything is gonna be gone but if we have anything what I am saying, let us be happy because we have to live in this world just once and not twice. We are not going to reincarnate back to this world. So why are you not happy about what you have? Do you know that somebody is jealous of you? Somebody is saying, oh, I wish I, I, I can just have this kind of children that this man has. And you are not happy. You are saying they are too dull. Why are you not happy about what you have? Those who don't have are worried. You that has, uh, you that have these ones that you have, you are not happy. 
please be happy with your life and with the blessings that the Lord has given you because we are passing through this world once. Don't spend it sorrowing. Spend it rejoicing. There's nothing as good as being at peace with yourself. Stop fighting yourself. Stop uh, organizing walls against yourself. People, no matter how poor you feel you are, there are some people in this world who are admiring you who want to be like you. So why are you not happy with yourself and what you have? Enjoy your life. Enjoy the blessings that the Lord has given to you. Don't be worried about what you don't have and don't be bothered about what you have. While you work on what you have so that it, the best can come out of it, while you work on it, be happy with it. Be happy with your wife. Be happy with your children. Be happy with your husband. Be happy with the little car that you have. Even if you have no car, you have a bicycle. Enjoy it. With, if you ride your bicycle, please enjoy it. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe. God bless you. Bye-bye.